Okay, so hello to everyone. This is the uh, lecture for the for wood. So, alam naman natin lahat yung kahoy and it's very well used in the Philippines. Lalo na sa ating uh, old houses, our old architecture, which is the bahay kubo, uh, composed of wood. So, ano ba yung kahoy? So, if wood used in architecture are naturally warm as uh, to touch and wood insulates. So, kaya iba, they, they really like the feel of um, wood kasi hindi siya ganun kalamig. Uh, one a good example is for flooring. Kapag ang uh, comparing to tiles, uh, to ceramic or granite tiles, ang flooring kapag malamig, or kapag gabi na sobrang lamig kapag tiles. Pero kapag gumamit ka ng, ng kahoy, uh, iba yung feeling niya. It's uh, parang siyang insulated, hindi siya ganun kalamig. Kaya usually, they use this uh, wood planks for bedrooms. So, mas masarap siyang gamitin or mas maganda siyang gamitin. Uh, in terms of workability, it's easily shaped with simple tools. Um, madali siyang uh, gaw gawin at madali siyang iayos, hindi siya gan, ah, uh, sabagay, medyo messy kapag ka, kapag ka pinutol or kinat nyo siya. Pero, ah, uh, yun, if you have desired uh, designs, madali siyang gawin. Kasi meron na rin tayong tools that are used to do cir uh, circulars, uh, to do simple grooves, yung mga yan. So, it has infinite varieties. So, walang puno na magkakapareho o walang kahoy na magkakapareho. So, meron kang iba't ibang uh, types of wood na pwedeng gamitin. And then, uh, strength to weight ratio usually are used for bridges, boats, homes, and furnitures. So, syempre, chinecheck natin kung, ang, uh, kung ano yung strength na kayang dalhin ng ating kahoy. Kasi, baka magalagay tayo ng malaming load which is hindi naman niya kayang dalhin. Uh, for in terms of flexibility, uh, tignan nyo na lang din uh, this huge trees uh, bend, uh, watch how huge trees bend before the wind. Kaya nga ang kagandahan sa kahoy, uh, you, kung may papansin nyo yung mga old houses, yung second floor nila is made up of kahoy. Kasi nga, pag malalaking mas strong winds, sumasabay lang siya sa direction, hindi siya kumokontra. Kasi di ba, the more ka kumontra sa direction, the more that there's a tendency na magkaroon ng break or masira yung isang uh, structure or figure. Uh, in terms of fire protection, um, wood charge and therefore burns slowly and doesn't melt or crumble. So yun lang, ang ayaw nung iba sa kahoy kasi is... Uh, medyo madali siyang masunog kasi it's a lightweight material. And uh, syempre ang pinakaayaw natin sa kahoy yung bukbok and anay. Madali siyang mapest if it's not well treated. Uh, color, in terms of color, it's natural. Uh, the wood's ability to receive many types of stain and finishes. So kahit natural pa rin, syempre we put up uh, other protection sa kanya, kamukha ng varnish para mas lalo siyang kumintab at lalo siyang mas gumanda or ma-enhance yung natural color niya. Pero ang ganda ng kahoy, ng effect ng wood sa loob ng isang bahay or isang structure. And dun yung homey feel. And then, para siyang uh, hindi ganun katigas or stiff yung interiors mo. Kaya yung iba, they really love wood. And then, yung iba nga kapag wood ang finishings ng bahay, uh, dati, um, ang dating ay, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a considered a high-end material din. So, woods are generally classified into two. So, meron tayong tinatawag na soft wood, which are yung tinatawag natin conifers or evergreens, kamukha ng mga pines, pine trees. Yung mga dahon nila ay patusok. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na hard wood that are broad-lived or yung tinatawag natin deciduous trees na um, ma ha very common sa Philippines. So, the terms hardwood and softwood, hindi ibig sabihin yan yung kahoy ay matigas at ang kahoy ay malambot. They're uh, often misleading 
uh, because they have no direct relation to the actual physical hardness and softness of wood. Uh, so, ito yung kanilang uh, uh, dito, structure. So, this is the soft wood. Ito yung tawag natin hard wood. Yeah. And then we have the iron annual rings. Yung ating uh, soft wood, ito yung, um, it is the, the softer or younger or yung outer portion ng tree. Yung nasa labas. Kasi nga, di ba, ang puno habang lumalaki, eh, uh, syempre yung pinaka-core, yung pinaka nasa gitna, yun yung pinaka mas matanda. So, yung outer part or yung outer circle natin, ito yung tinatag natin sa food. Um, it is more uh, uh, permeable and less durable and usually lighter sa color. So, kung matiting, makikita natin itong picture na to, this is the sapwood. Lighter siya. So, because it contains more organic matter than the central core of the lug. Kasi nga, bago pa lang siya or bata pa lang siya. It is more susceptible to uh, fungi and wood-boring insects. And not it is not that durable. Hindi pa siya ganung, uh, ka, hindi siya katulad nung heartwood natin or yung nasa gitna natin. Yan. Siyempre, this one is older, harder central portion ng tree and usually contains deposits of various materials that frequently give it a darker color than some food. So, ito mas dark siya. The central core of the lug and it is composed of inactive cells and serves only as mechanical support doon sa buong puno. So, ang kahoy natin is uh, usually has different properties. Syempre, it's very, it's, uh, ang ulat is hardness measured by the compression which a piece of timber undergoes when a weight is applied to it. So, ito yung uh, makikita natin kung um, matibay at matatag ang isang kahoy kapag ka nagkaroon na siya ng applied load. Kung hindi siya magbe-break or magbe-bend. Uh, flexibility, so the amount of piece will bend before breaking. So, may kita nyo, hindi siya agad puputol. Kamukha nga kanina sinabi ko sa inyo, sumusunod siya sa direction sa, ng kahoy. It will just bend. Magbe-bend lang siya, pero hindi pa siya agad mababali. Softwoods are general, generally brittle, while most hardwoods are flexible. So, uh, yun nga, it's uh, yung strength natin and then our durability. So, woods also has defects. So, um, de decay, yung caused by the attack of fungi. Ayan, pag na-attacke na siya ng mga fungi, nag-decompose nag na siya. We have the checks. So, these are uh, cracks that are lengthwise. Separation across the annual rings. So, then we have the shakes. So, eh, ito siya yung mga... Uh, these are the cracks between the para parallel uh, to the annual rings of the of the growth. Then, we have your knots. Ayan, yung parang mata. So, these are irregular growths of the body of a tree which uh, interrupt the smooth curve of the green. So, usually yung hasp, medyo ang sumusunod, di ba? And then, your pitch pockets. Ayan. These are well-defined openings between the annual rings containing solid or liquid pitch. And then we have the vein. Ito yun, yung parang corner na to. This is the lack of wood on the edge or corner of a piece. So, meron din din tayong tatawag na warping which has different uh, types. Yung warping is any variation with the plane surface of the piece caused by an, an equal shrinkage of the board. So, nagbe-bend siya. So, um, first one natin is yung crook, crook. So, distortion ng board sa edge. It's either convex or concave. We have your bow. So, distortion ng bow, bow, uh, board naman sa face. Yung crook sa edge, yung bow sa face. So, yun din, nagbe-bend siya. Yung cup is uh, parang tumutupi siya, tumitiklop. And then, syempre yung twist. It's a distortion. Mikot na talaga siya. Kaya dapat, if you're going to do construction, marunong kayong sumipat ng kahoy. Kung ito ay uh, merong uh, usually defects. Kasi, ang pangit naman na mag... Kunyari, if you're going to buy hamba ng pinto, 
kailangan si patin mo muna siya kung diretso at walang uh, warping na nangyari kasi pagka baka inilalagay mo na siya so wag tataka ka yung door mo bakit ganun hindi siya nagfi-fit or uh, parang merong distorted part yun pala merong yung nabili mong hamba is not diretso merong bali or merong bend So, there are different methods ng pag uh, saw ng wood. So, meron tayong katag na plain sawing. So, refers to lumber cut. Uh, uh, this is uh, the lumber cut tangent to the annual rings. Ito yung mga annual rings natin, yung paikot. So, nakatangent siya. Usually, ang angle niya is 0 to 45 degrees. Um, plain saw lumber is preferably uh, prefer preferable when a pleasing pattern is required as in wall paneling. And then we have the quarter sewing. So, ito yung plain sewing. We have the quarter sewing. The first naman siya, it cuts radially. Ayan, pa-radial effect. Sa so annual rings, 45 degrees to 90 degrees. A quarter sewn lumber is desirable because it has less shrinkage than plain sewn. So, ano ba yung lumber? Uh, what is lumber? This are uh, wood that are used in construction. Ang usual size nito, uh, the lumber is classified by its size or dimension measured in inches. For example, there's a piece of lumber measuring 2 inches by 4 inches. Ang tatawag sa kanya, 2 by 4. So, yung ano yun, yung pinaka section niya. So, example natin. Wala akong square dito. So, kunyari ito itong lagahin ng salamin. It's 2, ito, 2 by 4. Tapos, yung kanyang haba is usually from, uh, generally, they're available in even numbers pala. Usually, 2 by 4, 2 by 6, 2 by 8, 2 by 20, 2 by 12. Kaya doon na uso yung papaloy kita ng 2 por 2. Yun. 2 by 2, ibig sabihin, yung sa section nung, nung lumber. So, lumber, uh, meron ibang iba siyang classification. We have the strips. So, these are lumbers uh, less than 2 inches. Uh, actually, yung, yung lumber natin, nag-iiba-iba lang itong definition na to doon sa sizes niya. So, kapag less than 2 inches thickness and uh, less than 8 inches ang width niya, it's considered strips. Kapag less than 2 inches yung thickness and then at least 8 inches yung wide, it's already called board lumber. Kapag sinabi namang dimension lumber, these are pieces that are mas makapal sa 2 inches and less than 5 inches in any dimension. Um, hindi siya lumalang pa sa 5 inches. And then we have your timbers which is uh, pieces 5 inches or more on the smallest dimension. Doon sa pin, uh, ang pinaka smallest dimension niya is 5 inches. So, meron tayo tinatawag na nominal size. So, these are um, size of lumber when in cut, when it is cut from the log. So, after cutting the lumber, it's dried and plain on all four sides. Uh, nagiging smooth na siya. Tapos, yung finish size na syempre, hindi na nakukuha kasi nga nabawasan mo na siya. Uh, kininis mo siya. Di ba, wag pinutol mo yung kahoy, hindi man automatic makinis agad. So, uh, kinis pa natin siya at pag nakinis na yun, nababawasan yung actual size. So, kunyari, if you want a 2 by 4 lumber, ang actual size niya could be 1 and a half by 3 and a half. So, nabawasan natin half inches kasi nga, kininis yung mga sides. So, ito yung mga karaniwang nominal size and the actual size talaga na nakukuha niyo. So, a uh, measurement of lumber is usually done in board foot. So, tatay ka ilang board foot. So, uh, if you're going to compute uh, board feet, ang para siya kinocompute the thickness in inches, the width in inches, and then syempre yung length natin is usually in feet. So, lahat yan, multiply mo yung dimension niya, and then, i-divide mo sa 12. So, for example, we have a one board foot na 1 by 12 by, uh, 1 by 
12 inches by 1 foot. So, 1 times uh, 3 times 4 divided by 12 is equal, equivalent to 1 board foot. Kung ang measurement nyo is 2 by 6, so, syempre, ang computation is 2 inches by 6 inches by 6 feet divided by 12 in yung board foot. So, lagi natin siya kasi hindi sila pare-parehas ng, um, ng, ng dimension. So, that's why dinidivide pa natin siya sa 12. So, yun nga, pagka hinanapan ka ng kahoy or ng lumber, ang tanong sa'yo is ilang board foot. So, all lumber is sized according to its rough dimension. Again, hindi siya doon sa dimension na, na may surface na nakinis na as it is uh, as it comes from the saw. Its size, however, it is reduced after being surfaced or dressed by a planer. So, example yung 2 by 4 na surface on four sides, uh, yun nga, bawas na automatic siya. So, uh, seasoning of lumber, uh, moisture has a big influence on the behavior of wood. Ang kahoy natin automatically may tubig na laman. Kaya nga kapag ka malamig, nag expand si wood, and then kapag mainit, it shrinks. So, it naturally has that content. Um, but uh, the pro there's a process uh, in removing the moisture sa ating mga kahoy. Uh, yung tinatawag natin green woods or wood that are freshly cut logs. Ito yung tinatawag natin seasoning. So, usually, it's air drying in which the lumber is exposed sa air. Uh, pinapatuyo lang sa, sa hangin. So, it has uh, this, uh, dapat takaangat siya na at least 12 inches clearance sa ground. And then, there's always spaces uh, between yung pinakabubong natin Siyempre, yung pantatakip natin na at least 6 inches. So, papat meron siya mga spacing at sali-saliwa siya kung ilagay kasi para merong um, hangin pa rin na ano, kasi nga air drying siya. Para yung ibang, yung ilalim na part at saka ibang babaw na part ng ibang uh, kahoy natin is matuyo. So, meron din natatag na kiln dried so, this one is uh, in which warm, moist air or superheated steam is used to heat the wood and drive out moisture. So, kinikiln dried siya. KD. Pag umorder yung, yung carpenter nyo na kagay KD, it means it's kiln dried. So, um, extreme heat yung ginagamit naman para mapatuyo ngayon si kahoy at mabawasan yung moisture niya. So, there are different deterioration of lumber, kamukha nung kanina sa wood, it's decay. So, usually molds, stains, uh, usually caused by fungi. And then, um, paano natin pinapreserve ang kahoy? It, uh, wood can be treated to prevent or at least delay the destruction of fungi, insects, bacteria, marine organisms, and fire. So, meron tayong oil type wood preservatives and water waterborne wood preservative from its name um na na oil type eh syempre pinapahid natin is to oil and the waterborne we use water so there there are different methods sa pag-apply ng preservatives na to so meron tayong pressure treatment consists in placing the wood in cylinders yan into which the preservative is pumped under pressure so, uh, we use pressure pang distribute nung i-apply yeah, natin preservative. We have the hot and cold bath, which is binababad natin sa isang um, sa mainit na portion, mainit na na uh, sa na bath kung saan merong uh, hot preservative for an hour or more yung kahoy, tapos ililipat nyo siya sa cold preservative. Yan, kamukha nito. From hot Tapos ililipat sa home. And then there's dipping or immersing the wood in a hot preservative for a short time. And then uh, we have the brushing. So, ina-apply lang natin with the brush. So, we also have wood composites. Uh, are those products made from a mixture of wood or other materials? Ito yung ano na, um, ginagawa na sa mga factories. Ang, ito yung, yung pinaka-common is yung plywood natin. 
So, from plywood is the most common wood composite. So, ibig sabihin niya, uh, maraming uh, thin plies or veneers of wood are glued together to create this plywood. So, usually, the standard sizes of their plywood is 1.2 by 2.4. Ito yung pinaka-common na nabibili. But there's a 0.9 by 1.8, pero commercially available, 1.2 by 2.4. Uh, kaya dapat you'd be familiar with plywood sizes. Lalo na to kasi para mas madali kayong makatipid or if you're going to compute kung ilang plywood ang gagamitin mo sa isang structure. So, there are different thickness. Yung 316 pinakamanipis natin. Then you have 1 fourth. Uh, 316 usually it can be used for ceilings or double wall partitions. Both sides. 1 fourth, okay pa rin siya sa double wall, part wall partitions. We have 3 eighth. It's usually used for drawers and shelves. We have your 1 half, again for drawers and shelves. And then 3 fourths, ito yung ginagamit natin sa mga cabinets. And closet doors, medyo makapal na siya. And then 1 inch for cabinets uh, and doors and subfloors. So, ah, uh, uh, pakapal ng pakapal. Siyempre, the more na dapat mas matibay yung kahoy, dapat mas matibay. Mas makapal siya. Anong advantage of using plywood? So, at approximately equalization of strength properties along its length and width. Greater resistance sa checking and splitting and less change in dimension due to moisture content. So, kasi nga, machine, ay, ano, totoo nito. Factory made na siya mas uh, actual yung kanyang dimension. So, there are different types of plywood. We have your ordinary wood, ay, your form wood, your marine plywood, which is our waterproof, and then fancy plywood. So, yung pinakagamitin is yung marine plywood natin. So, this is a paneling, meron tayong katag na hardboard, uh, yung plywood, and then we have the hardboard. So this is the paneling material made by reducing and refining wood chips into small thread-like fibers and then pressing them. Uh, and again, it's done with, with a machine uh, under heat and hydraulic pressure into dense wood and very rigid panels. So, syempre, hardwood are cheaper than plywood. And then, well, it's sometimes known as masonite. So we have standard hard board that are light brown in color and has a fairly hard smooth surface on one side. Tapos sa kabilang side, screen impression siya. Yan, ganyan. Uh, kung mah madalas mahita niyan siguro sa mga old houses. Uh, parang ito, ganito, nahita ko sa drywall, drywall partition dito sa house namin. Which is, I think, 40 years na. At 50 years, actually, yung bahay namin. So, yung second floor niya is kahoy. It's done in the 70s. Ah, uh, yun, makikita nyo. Yung ano niya is, uh, yung kabilang side niya is smooth. Yung kabilang side is parang screen. And then we have the panel hardboard. So, somehow denser than the standard. But not as dense as the te tempered. And then we have the tempered hardboard. So, ito yung pinaka-densest type. Ayan. Then we have the chipboard. So chipboard is made by bonding together wood particles with an adhesive under heat and pressure. Ayan. Itong itsura niya. Then we have your fiber cement board or uh, fiber boards. Uh, fiber boards are finishing materials made from vegetable uh, fibers such as corn and sugar cane. Ang usually size niya is uh, 4 by 8 or 1.2 by 2.4. Ang thickness is 316, 1 fourth, or 1 half to 3 fourths. So, they usually use acoustic uh, fiber board uh, manufactured from wood straw. And ang thickness niya is karaniwan, 1 half to 2 inches. So, itong itsura ng fiber boards. Fiber boards. Then, we have the gypsum boards. Ayan non-combustible building board. So, maganda siya kasi hindi siya madaling masunog. Um, with a gypsum cord and it's also lightweight. 
It is designed to be used without addition of plaster for walls, ceilings, or partitions. Uh, and then, maganda siyang gamitin for drywall construction. So again, napla, pag sinabing drywall construction, it means wood yung partition na gagamitin niyo sa wall. And then, there are different types of gypsum board. So meron tayong tinatawag na wall board. So this is used for surface layers sa interior walls and sa ceilings. Ayan. We have the backing board, so used as base layers of multiply construction. And uh, where several layers of gypsum boards are designed for higher, high fire resistance, sound control, and strength in walls. So commonly, ako, I use, what are the, the common wood or the ply boards that I use? Kapag kasi ceiling, I use the fiber cement board or hindi tawag natin hardy flex. Um, mas maganda siya kasi... Uh, una, hindi siya anayin. And then, uh, in terms of uh, yung fire rate niya is mataas. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya madaling masunog. Um, for cabinets, I use ply board, which is 3 fourth ply board para makapal siya. And uh, yun nga lang sa ply board, mag-iingat lang kayo kasi uh, minsan may mga palaman siya ng mga stapler-stapler. So, yung hindi magandang brand pangit siya pag pinutol mo ng, na, yung, na yung mismong kahoy mo, your cabinet mo, magkita mo merong pangit na dulo. And then, ano pa ba? Kung usually use wood, uh, madalang na rin kasi akong gumamit ng kahoy, but I use um, ribbon grain na tinatawag for finishes. Um, ito naman yung Kahoy siya, it's more on for aesthetic uh, factor only. It's usually one-fourth in size. Tapos, uh, yun, lalagyan lang namin siya ng varnish. And then, pinagtatapan lang namin siya dun na sa mismo flyboard or sa mismo hardy flex. So that, uh, meron kaming wood effect design sa ceiling or sa walls. Um, we also use 